Wood up. Boy, they've got a lot of speed as they enter into the Kentucky zone. Gonna try to set it up here. Let's go Wildcats, Shant going here. At the top, fires the shot, deflected in. Another shot, another save. Linda Wood cycling the puck beautifully here, trying to get down in front of it. Partially fanned on the shot from the right circle. Can Kentucky clear here? Still can't get it out. Now Saris getting in on the attack. Glass gets Ryapel and Saris out there as part of this penalty killing unit. Jets trying to dig the puck out here. Puck now back out to the point, but it escapes. And Lindenwood's going to have to reset here. Killing some time off this penalty now. Critical mistake there by Tobias Janssen, who had a goal last night. But they come right back in, though. And behind the net. 46 seconds left on the grand penalty. Now in behind the net here again. Linda Wood just cycling through here. A whole lot of battling going on in front of the net. Looking for a shot. There's a save. And uh -oh. got a battle going on. Borgard, <laughs> smart. He's going to get out of the way. Saracen, I can't tell who the other I think participant is. Number 20, I think it was number 26, actually. I thought it was 28. 26 holds him. I would assume there's going to be some matching minors here for roughing. Yeah, you're right. A smart move there by Borgard to get away from that. Yeah, you know, he made a nice save as Garen was short on the left side and tried to go top shelf at the only angle there was. Borgard makes a nice save, getting his chest up in the way. And then the scrum in front as Saris goes in to defend his goaltender. Ryapel's going, going in as well here. Uh-oh. I didn't see anything happen to Ryapel. Didn't see Ryapel's involvement on that unless it was before the whistle was stopped. Oh, Ryapel could be serving unless we're looking at we could be looking at a uh, two and a ten here, p potentially for Saris. If that's the case, Rypel would serve the two. Wait and see. Still have 30 seconds left on the Lindenwood power play with 10.08 left in the first period. one nothing. still your score, Kentucky in front. Numbers definitely on Lind Lindenwood's side here. We'll get the call from announcer Jim Hinckley. Looks like Vitt and Chris... Severe, the captain for Lindenwood, wait the explanation. From the officials, nothing up on the board as of yet. I think things are getting noted in the uh, scorebook by Jim Hinckley. Bleachers fully packed tonight. Good to see the rowdy group back. Almost like the hooligans have seemed to grow game by game. Always a good time. We always enjoy that. Is our favorite hooligan down there, though? I don't see him. Uh, just got the explanation, and Taylor Vitt didn't look too happy with whatever's transpired. Again, we still don't know as yet. Nothing's up on the board. It looks like we're going to remain five and four here. Maybe they just called we do. matching minors. Everything's matching, so. We're back to action here as Lindenwood comes into the Kentucky zone. Still trying to do something on the power play. Now puck at the point, crossover, looking for the one-timer. That gets into traffic. Kentucky picks it up. There's Vitt. He's just going to dump it into the zone. Had glass in behind him here. Now kept in, Kentucky trying to chop it out here, does so. Vitt trying to tip it forward, does so. And behind the net, here's Getz putting some pressure on. Now Vitt able to break it away, but Dennis enabled to poke it out of harm's danger. I think wh what I just heard, Holzem got called for two penalties on the play. And then you had Saris go in two for roughing, and Ryapel got called for a two-minute cross-check. 
So it turns out being double, it turns out being matching double minors, I guess you could call it. Just I think they got holes in for two penalties. One roughing, I didn't hear the other one. Maybe it was a double roughing minor. That and it goes in! Gets! Just bounces it off the post and hits the back that, of that, Dennison. How did that go with that had no angle to go in? That is the worst possible angle ever. He completely just fired it <laughs> totally parallel to the side of the net and it went in. The worst possible angle ever for a shot. And Kentucky now leads two to nothing. Ole, ole, ole. That's right. 8.53 left in the first. Michael Getz with his second goal of the night. Getz already has two. And the crowd is alive tonight. Getz just fired it in and it went, I think it went off the side of Dennison and trickled in. The worst possible angle ever for a shot and he scored. Are we gonna hear it's all your fault, Chan, again? That's probably my favorite at a goaltender is it's all your fault. And that was all his fault. <laughs> Taylor Britt gets the assist. Now the puck deep into the zone here. Kentucky skating out again. Check. Hard check. Take penalty it out coming penalty. up. Easy call to make. That's number 12, Zach Branovan. Roughing the call. It was either a roughing or a check from behind. I don't see her. So give him two for roughing. So Kentucky with the opportunity as you are eating some Sour Patch Kids. It is not polite to eat on the air. <laughs> well, nobody knew until you said anything. Yeah, no. Got to have some sugar, but here comes Kentucky with their first power play of the night. There's Hubbard. Cleared out. There's your champ. Hard check there, Morgan <laughs> taken down. Yeah, saw us last night. Kentucky have problems getting their power play set up. Now here come the Cats. Can they get into the zone? They do sweep it in, but still not able to set anything up. Now Getz trying to dig it out here, does so. Looking across the vid, and that's gonna come off the, that's gonna come off the uh, wall here. The puck hits the bottle on the table and almost got to their, almost got to the skate sharpener. I would hope that's not plugged in. <laughs> Fan in there wants double digits for goals. All right. I like it. Good call, Cats Fan 8. Good for you. Here's Hubbard now. Best comment of the night. In behind the net. Looking to throw it back out, does so. King Kentucky moves the puck around here. Here's Hubbard. He's got glass in the slot. Passed it up though. Gets now in the circle. Crossover in the slot. Shoot! Scores! Billy Glass! Three to nothing now. 704 remaining in the first. And these fans are electric here at the Lexington Ice Center. Glass from Getz and I believe Vitt. Three nothing Kentucky. So nice utilization of the power play there. There you go, Glass family. Billy's got a goal tonight. Give him now 14 on the season. And his third point of the weekend. Now into the zone. Here Cuts. they come again. Warmall taking off the puck though. No, he wasn't able to hold on to it. The other to retrieve. And between four. Ankerstad. Kentucky keeps it. At in the Lindenwood zone, looking for more. Here Skirton, they come again. Warmold, Warmold nice fires block. the shot. Here's Skirton though. He gets pinned up against the boards. Can Sarris get to it? He's back out on the ice for Kentucky. Now look at Warmold getting in. In the slot, shoot, save. Again, another shot, it goes in! Off of Skirton's skate! I think Skirton's gonna get it from Rohar. Goodness, what has gotten into this? Who is this team? Four 
to nothing now, 6.23. Goodness gracious.